Isang mapagpalang araw po sa inyong lahat. Good day everyone! This is Brother Jonas for our series, Lockdown to Look Up, your daily inspiration amid COVID-2019. And I wanna greet everyone. Amazing day. Medyo umaambon dito ngayon sa Tugigaraw. But before that, uh, can I just share this video? I hope that everyone is doing fine. Ah, sana ang, ang live video. So how is your day so far? Shout out to all my friends, to everyone who's tuning in right now. Especially my good, good friends from uh, Sultanate of Oman. They are always uh, tuning in. So... Actually, today is our third day of our series and um, I'm just so happy. No, fourth day of our series. The first topic that we have is about uh, detoxifying our emotions and how to have that, um, how to have that different perspective wherein uh, you remove all the toxins and, you know, all the negativities in your mind, in your heart, so that it will manifest in your physical being. And uh, we also discuss, the other one is, uh, we discuss, um, we discuss also the second topic, it's about feeling your feelings, yes, how to feel your emotions. And uh, we explain that whatever it is that, uh, when you can feel it, you can actually Heal it. So for a while, I'm just sharing in my Facebook account. Uh -huh. Shout out to everyone. Thank you so much. Our topic for today is uh, amazing. It's all about faith. So pag-usapan natin yan. Hindi ko ma-share itong isa. I don't know why. Sige, okay lang. Let's start the ball rolling. Okay, so again, isang mapagpalang araw po sa inyong lahat. My name is Brother Jonas and I'm just so excited to share to you an amazing and powerful insight that can inspire you while you are on uh, community quarantine or lockdown. So our topic for today is the umbrella of faith. So we'll be talking about faith. Alam ko, at this present moment, there are many people who are clinging into prayers and hope and embracing God and just reading the Bible, soaking themselves in uh, reading the Bible and studying it and experiencing and encountering God during this tough moment. So umbrella of faith, there is a story uh, about a certain community who are praying for rain because of a long drought and nag natuyo na lahat ng mga tanim nila, they are really praying wholeheartedly that God will give them the rain that they are praying for the longest time. But every time that they go to pray as a prayer as a community, um, walang nagdadala ng payong. One time, yung last prayer nila is, everyone was praying that, Lord, give us rain because our crops are, dry, are dying. And there's one lady who brought an umbrella. And they call it an umbrella of faith. So, plenty of times in our lives, we pray for something but are we ready to receive? Are we preparing ourselves to receive the blessing? Because sometimes a lot of people think that there are different factors affecting the way we receive our blessings. Number one is, there are prayers wherein God will say no. There are prayers na kahit anong mo, there will be, ito na lang, there will be unanswered prayers. In my book, God Says No, I enumerated a lot of closed doors in my life and I shared it that it's really true. There are prayers in your life wherein God will say no. Because He has better plans for you. But there are also prayers in your life. Second factor that I believe is we do not receive the blessings or we do not receive the answer to our, to our prayers. Not because God doesn't want to give it, but there is a problem in the way we receive our blessings. The way, the, our ability to receive the blessings. Ganto lang yan. Napakagandang description. You pray for um, water, for example. And then you prepared... Ang prepare mo lang is uh, either maliit na tabo or malaking timba. Yung blessing the Lord, there's abundance in it. Walang walang kulang doon. But then I discovered, I realized that many times in our lives we receive the blessings depending doon sa capacity natin to receive the blessing. If tabo lang ang prepare mo to receive the rain or if timba or if, if drama ang dinala mo, yun na nagiging blessing. Mo. And many people are actually blaming it to God. No, Lord, you're not giving you're not giving the uh, right answers to my prayers. But I realize that it's because of our capacity to receive the 
blessings. My question is, when you pray today, um, when you pray to God to give you the needs, your needs related dito sa lockdown, related sa COVID, example, you're having problem with the food that you will eat, or yung mga bills mo, do you expect God to give it to you? Or when you pray, hanggang dun na lang ba? After you pray, iniisip mo, problemado ka pa din. Because there are two kinds of people. They will they will pray and they will offer it to God. And after that, they will be at peace. And another group of people, they will pray to God. And after that, they are still worried. So, sino ka doon? And I believe that the one who will receive the real blessings that God wants to give you are those people who prayed, who surrendered, and who trusted God. Our Bible verse for today is uh, Mark... Uh, saan na ba yan? Our Bible verse for today is Mark... Chapter 11, verse 24, sabi niya, Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Dear friends, what is that one thing that you're praying right now? Is it about healing? Is it about miracles in your marriage, in your finances, with your bills? After you pray, surrender to God and trust Him that He will work it out. Bring that umbrella or carry that umbrella of faith that God will answer your prayers in the best version possible, in the best way that He think you deserve. And I think at the end of the day, the one thing that God will give you is the best version of your prayer. How about that? That's so amazing. Uh -huh. Anyway, um... I just want to say uh, thank you sa lahat mga nanonood, nagpa-follow up, and uh, shout out kay Ma'am Matet. Yes, Ma'am Matet, how are you? <laughs> Kumusta ka? And um, thank you po sa lahat. Number one, ang big message natin ng first day natin is detoxify your hearts, remove all the negative emotions, avoid as much as possible. Number two is about, um, <laughs> number two natin, feeling your feelings. Feeling your feelings. Whatever you can feel, you can heal. Diba? And uh, today, our topic is about the umbrella of faith. Have faith that God will give the answers to your prayers. So, maraming salamat po. Yun lang. Uh, medyo umaambon dito sa amin at may kulog siya kidlat. Kaya wala ako sa garden. So, magdasal lang tayo before we end. Can I request everyone to just close your eyes? Just have that encounter with Jesus. Just feel Him. Just glorify God right now. Embrace the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our dear and ever-loving God, we praise you, we glorify you, we thank you, Lord God, that today we are worshiping you, we are giving you our time, we are experiencing your grace, your mercy, and your spirit. Lord, I lift to you the lives of those who are watching right now. If there are people who are hopeless right now, give them the hope that they need. If there are people who are worried, anxious, remove all the anxieties, Lord God, and fears, and replace it with trust and faith in you. Lord, I pray that you bless the different areas of their lives, their health, their relationship, their finances, their career, Panginoon. And uh, we just want to offer to you, Lord God, this special prayer for the pandemic. We pray, Lord God, that uh, this pandemic will soon end and we will go back to our life. The churches will be reopened and the schools will be reopened, Lord God. With, and we will come out with bigger and deeper faith in you. Lord, we pray that you teach our hearts to trust you, to surrender everything to you. Because whatever we pray, whatever we ask in you, we believe that you will give it, Lord God, the best version that you can give us. We just want to let you know that we love you and that we trust you. And fill our hearts, Lord God, especially during this time that you are full of worries and anxieties. We want to encounter you. We want to experience you. And this prayer we ask through the most powerful name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen and Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, maraming maraming salamat po. Shout out to everyone who's watching right now. Hi, Daisy Nell. <laughs> Daisy Cabaldo, hello there. Hope you are safe. Cura Pilgante, hello there. And love and Paul Borromeo. Hello everyone. Maraming salamat po sa panonood. Sana na-bless kayo at nakapagdasal tayo ngayon. Um, si Hi Lay, oh oh, <laughs> sorry na, si Lay may ganon ako dito uh, requirement. So, maraming maraming salamat po sa mga nanonood ngayon. Sana ma bless pa kayo. Please, please lang, okay? Last message: When you pray, samahan nyo ng paniniwala na ibibigay sa inyo, okay?
Hi Paul Borromeo, God bless you. Happy, happy birthday. Ito na lang. Special shout out and happy birthday to my friend, my classmate, Sir Paul Borromeo. Pagpalain ka pa, we pray for you na sana ulanin ka pa ng walang katapusang biyaya at pagpapala. Thank you po sa lahat. God bless. Bye-bye. May assignment pa ako. Hehehe. <laughs>